Good morning, y'all. This is old Frankie the Farmer. I'm out here another day, another dollar, showing what I do. Look at this beautiful mama hair. Look at this beautiful mama. Show you what I do every day. Heat detect, look for some hot cows, put some chalk. Every color here means different pans. You know, they mix them. Then we know exactly what pin they go. This pin right here is pink. Now oh, here's my 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 baby. Oh Swissy. Oh Swissy right there. 4482. That's her name. Her name is Swissy. She's a beautiful cow. Look at that mama. She loves me. Check this out. This mama loves me. Give a little kiss to the camera there, mama. Give a little kiss to that. Look at that, y'all. Beautiful brownie. Her name's Swissy. She's a brown Swiss. She is my baby. She is my pig. She is family to me, y'all. Very, very beautiful cow right here. She's a good mama. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. You chewing your cut? Look at that. She's chewing her cut. Nice and healthy. When they're chewing their cut, they're nice and healthy, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful cow right there. Oh, mama. Oh, mama, you a beautiful cow, mama. You know you are, mama. Yeah. Check it out. Look at that. Two beautiful people right there. Well, one beautiful person. Well, I'm an ugly son of a bitch, but she's a beautiful cow. Look at that, mama. Oh, yeah. You know you are, mama. Oh, yeah. You like that. You like being petted, mama, huh? You love that. All right, better keep on going, y'all. Here we go, y'all. Do a little more chopping in there. This is what I do, y'all. Look for some hot cows. The way I show you when I find a hot cow, I'll show you how I know it's a hot cow. Anybody interested, you know, want to learn how to AI, you know, I'll show you how to heat detect. I'm very good at it, I'm a professional. I've been doing this since 1999. Been doing it for a very, very long time. So I know all the tricks. I know how to get them, you know, more pregnancy rates. If anybody y'all out there have a farm, dairy, got some breeding problems, just, you know, Get in touch with me and I'll, and I'll fix your dairy, you know, I'll fix your farms, you got your problems, you know. I know a lot of things, especially on these cows here. You know, I'm an animal whisperer. I got all these mamas tamed, you know, they all love me. They're all my pets. I take care of them just like they're my own. They ain't my cows, but I treat them like they're my own. That what, that's what makes me so good at what I do, y'all. Man, look at these mamas. Beautiful, beautiful cows, mama. You know you, they all know they're beautiful cows. I'll show you. These here, what I'm checking here, these are called the Holsteins. There's a Holstein here. There's more to drink, you know? Put you in your cereal, put the milk in your cereal here. That's what they're called, Holstein cows. Beautiful, beautiful cows. Look at that mama right there looking at me. Hey, mama. How you doing, mama? How's your morning, mama? It's a Sunday morning. Look at that beautiful animal right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful animal, y'all. All right, let's get to the next pen here, y'all. All right, we'll let these mamas go. I had no hot cows to show you. So let them go. So they go drink some water, you know, got their feed. Look at that. Got their feed, not this healthy cow. Look at them. They're all looking at me, chewing their cut. It's not mama. You know, mama's miss me. Oh yeah, I know you did. I know your mama's missed me. Oh my cows, I, you know. Oh, what's his name? Old Caesar got nothing, nothing with me. He thinks he's an animal whisperer, but he ain't nothing compared to me. I'm the true animal whisperer. And the true animal whisperer, y'all. Let's get into the next pen here. See if I can show you guys a, a hot cow, see how it looks. 
That's how I know, and I'll explain everything. How to how to heat and tech and how to show you a hot cow by chalking them. You know, come on, mamas. There you go, mama. Okay, mamas. All right, mamas. All right. Let me grab the right color here. Let's see here. Right here, green. This is the next string. Is green. All right, let's see here. You know, you want to make sure you let them know you're behind them. You don't want to get kicked. And so I never get kicked out here because I'm very, very good with cows, you know. You know, I'm really good. Sometimes these cows treat me better than human beings. That's the sad part. You know, take your time. Always look, you know, see all that. See all, they all have all the chalk right there, see it? Got the chalk, so that means they're not hot. Not on heat. Man, these are amazing cows, y'all. Amazing cows. This is right here, you know, number one genetics. I put the number one genetics in all of my herds. Every single herd has a number one genetic. And if you guys need some help with genetics, you know, I can help you all out. Any of y'all need help, just let me know. I can help you all, you know, give you an idea how this, you know, this industry works. You know, a lot of, I got a lot of pregnant cows here, you know. I'm getting, you know, it's very, very rare of the numbers that I get, you know. I get about 1.2 services per conception. And all you farmers out there that know what that means, that's really hard to get. That means every 1.2 cows that I breed, I get them pregnant. Man, that is amazing. That is hard to do, y'all. But it didn't take me one day to the next to learn all this, you know. Like I said, I've been doing it since 1999 with all the experience that I got, you know. You learn. And if you all pay attention, you know, you can all learn. You could become even better than me. Just as good, or if not better. You know, man, beautiful. See this one right here? These two right here are cross jerseys. Those are two cross jerseys. That one right there, and that one right there. They're crossed with Holstein. So they got, they're 50% Holstein and 50% jersey. You can see by the, by the, by the height of them, they're kind of small on the smaller side. So it's very important that you put a cavities on these two. You know, you all, you all gotta pay attention. You know, it's real important to get cavities on these cows. You don't want them to have a hard time being in labor. You want them to have their, their calves on their own. Yeah, you know, I got nothing in here. No hot cows in this thing. Nothing in this side here. Nothing. But that's all right. When there's nothing, that means I'm doing them. Heck of a job, y'all. Heck of a job, y'all. All right, let's go to these back side here. We got a couple, couple in the back here. We got to check, make sure they got plenty of chalk and they're not hot. You know, now here's another pet of mine. Oh, she's a cross two from Jersey and Holstein. Oh, 49.15. See, she's my pet right there. Beautiful mama too. I, you know, I don't want to get her up because, you know, she's a, Nice and comfortable there, but she got some beautiful udder on them. You know, you can see the udders in the back. I mean, beautiful animal. Look at those udders, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful animal. You know, got a lot of a lot of years experience. You know, you even you even get a little bit of chalk. You know, I got a little bit of green chalk on, right there in my eyebrow. It's okay, just let it drop down. You know. All right, we'll go to we'll go next up with the next pin here. We'll go to the next pin. Cows here are fed really, really good, y'all. Nice and healthy. You know, if you get to a point you can't feed your cows, you might as well sell sell everything. Cause that ain't good. Cause you won't produce enough milk. Cows gotta eat to produce milk. And you know, you don't want no skinny cows. They gotta eat to produce that milk. You know? People nowadays wanna take animals away, you know? People, people don't trying to trying to get away from beef. 
But man, I love my beef. I love my steaks. That's one thing I love is, is my steaks. I gotta have my steaks. You know, I ate a lot of beef. All right, here we go. Next three is orange. So we got orange here. Like I said, so make sure they don't, you know, they get mixed in the pins. I know exactly where they go and they belong. Here we all, you know, we'll chalk them a little more here. Some orange. Some orange on my buddy right here, 4810. She's a good mama, very good mama. You know, they really don't move, you know. I walk through them slow. You don't see them running. There's the right way of doing things out here, you know, as a breeder. So you got this one here, see? See, that one's pink. Can you guys see the difference? Pink. So she belongs in that first tree I was in. See, this one's orange. That one's pink. So that one belongs to another stream there. Yeah, so far I got no hawk cows right now. But, you know, it's okay. Like I said, if you start breeding too many cows, that means you ain't doing a very good job getting cows pregnant. You know? You're going through here like this, and it's very nice to see that, you know, don't get too many cows coming in heat. Here's one cow that I bred yesterday. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about when I know when she's in heat, and I'll show you the difference between them. All right, y'all? I'll show you the difference between my hawk cow and a cow that's not in heat. Very, 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 very important, y'all. You must pay attention. If you ever want to become an AI tech, this is the number one rule, you know? I'll show y'all. See this one here, y'all? This one here, see, it got no chalk. See that? No chalk. No chalk at all. You know? You always look at the number. You always go through a cycle. It's a 21 day cycle, their heat cycle. You know, you always gotta put the numbers together. See, and look at that one. Look at the next one. See, the next one got us their chalk, all their chalk there. Sometimes a little tricky, they'll get a little bit rubbed up. They, they call that a silent heat. You know, barely get rid in one time. But I'm, that's how good I am. I am very good to find them silent heat. See the difference? See the difference on them? And now I just chalk, because I bred her yesterday. And I write their numbers on the side there. You know, 50, 69 right there. If I can see that on the next day that I breed, I don't rebreed them. Because if I rebreed them, that means I'm pretty much dumping that semen on the ground. My job is to make farmers and dairymen money, not to lose money. So I'm, very, I'm a professional, and there ain't too many professionals out there anymore in this industry. You know, kind of wish it was like, you know, the NFL, you know, or, 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 or LMB, MLB, you know, baseball. You know, when you're a professional, you know, you should get paid like a professional, you know, not, not like a rookie. The one that barely started and they, they expect to get paid just as much as a, as a professional. You know, that, that's what ruins this industry, you know? And that's the way some of these companies would understand that, you know, these breeding companies, you know? That's what I mean, this industry, breeding industry is getting all screwed up because they want people that don't know how to breed. Like I said, you know, the more pregnant cows you get, the less money they make. So the more pre cows you breed, the more money they make. And I disagree with that. That's why, you know, I have problems with breeding companies because they do not like people like myself. You know, they used to, don't get me wrong, they used to, nowadays they don't like it. Yeah, so far, you know, I got nothing. You know, this there's about, you know, I want to say close to 600 cows. Nah, not, not even, nah, not 600 cows. I saw about, you know, a little over 500. We'll say that, a little over 500. It ain't 600 cows, but. They don't 500, I'm, I'm adding a little too much there, sorry guys. Sometimes I do that. That's the Portuguese in me. You know, Portuguese says, when the Portuguese says he caught a fish, you know, about, I can't use my other arm, you know, because the other arm is holding that stick there, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call that stick. But they'll say, oh, I caught a fish this big. Damn Portuguese, you better shrink that fish to that big. Portuguese like to add it. They'll go like this. I caught a fish this big and they'll keep growing. That's the way Portuguese are, you know. Giving you, if you guys don't know, don't know the Portuguese, I'm just giving you guys some advice because I'm a full, bro, full blown Portuguese. My parents were born in the Azores Islands and Shada Island. 
they came over here to America to give my sister and myself a better life. That's why I respect that flag, that American flag. And, you know, I don't want to get too, too much onto that because it just really bothers me because I, I respect America and I respect that flag and I respect what that flag means. Because the people that fought for our country, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have my rights. You know, that's enough. Well, well, I'll get out of that subject. You know, a lot of people don't like that subject because my thing is I, I love America and I respect America. You know, America, if it wasn't been America, I probably wouldn't be doing this. You know, I wouldn't, wouldn't be enjoying being outdoors. A lot of people nowadays, you know, they need to go outdoors, enjoy the outdoors. Why stay in the house? Why, why, why be on your phone all day? Go outside and enjoy what God made. God made all this. I know a lot of people don't believe in God, but I believe in God. I respect people, you know, but I also want the respect back too because I got my beliefs. Everybody has the right here in America, the United States of America, to believe what they want and do what they want, you know? If you want to be gay, be gay, you know? You want to be straight, be straight. You want to be bi, be bi. Just don't bother other people. Don't, don't try to force that on other people. That's what just really boils my blood, you know? But we'll get out of all that subject, you know? We'll uh, go back to, to what I do. Sorry, I got a little distracted, but I had to say that because sometimes that ball, it bothers me. I don't watch too much TV, you know? I enjoy my family. And I enjoy the outdoors. So TV, I don't like listening because I love everybody. I love everybody the same. I love everybody like I love my family and like I love myself. And I just, just out here, you know, trying to be nice to everybody. You know, respect everybody. Respect, respect everybody what they what they choose. You know, and tell you they don't, they don't make they don't make. I know there's people out there, good hearted people out there. You know, but I. Uh, I, I just wish they, they would help each other more because when I, when I grew up, you know, everybody used to help each other out. You know, you used to leave your, leave your door, door open on your house, leave your garage door open, you know, no one, no one take nothing. Everybody respected each other, you know. I used to leave my car door open all the time too and nobody stole nothing. Nowadays, you got to lock everything up because people steal everything from you, you know. Even in the, in the daylight, you know, they don't do it at night no more. In the, in the broad daylight, they steal. It's okay, you know, let's get back to your heat detecting, y'all. Uh, you know, I haven't found a hot cow for today. But it's okay, like I said. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't be doing my job right here. Here's my other buddy right here, old 50, 5047 right there. Oh, beautiful cow, man. She loves me. She loves me. Sometimes, you know, she, you know, they, these cows... You, you have a relationship with them, you know? You know, not, not the weird way of relationship, you know? I don't, I don't, some people think gross, but I'm saying a relationship, you know, talking to the cows, making sure they're happy, you know? That's how I make pets out of them. Be nice to them, you know? Don't hit them. They don't need to be hit. You know, you just gotta talk to them. I know how to work, work with animals really, really good, you know? The animals love me. Every animal loves me. You know, I'm an animal whisperer. That's what you want to say it, and I'm an animal whisperer, all. These cows here, beautiful, beautiful cows. You know, got cow, you know, I, I, I deal with, you know, Holstein cows, Jersey cows, you name it all, beef cows, everything, y'all. Guernseys, everything, y'all. You know, one animal I haven't really, really, you know, Kind of wish I, I want to do, you know, is all uh, those Texas Longhorns, you know. I love that, you know. Like I said, I love every animal, but I like to work with some Texas Longhorns, you know. Even, you know, it's just that's who I am, you know. I'm real good with animals. I love animals. I treat them like family. Every single one of them. Every single animal here, I treat them like family. So it's normal when, when you when you start breeding virgin heifers. Those are, that means, those are heifers that never calved. They're, you know, they're about 15 months old. Get, you know, ready to breed at 15 months. You know, you, don't, you really don't want to breed anything under that, under the 15 months. You don't want to breed that. 
yesterday. That one there was bred yesterday. Oh, 4683. She was bred yesterday. See right here is blue. You know, the blue right here, this is the low stream. You know, you got a bunch of DNBs. You know, DNBs, what that means is do not breed. You don't breed them. You know, they're, they, they got problems. They might be cystic. They might have cysts in their ovaries and they're in heat every every other day or or every week. They're all cycled. They're all cycled at that 21 day cycle, you know. Here's my other buddy, old 4545. She's across Jersey Holstein and she loves me. Look at her. She just wants me to pet her. She loves me. This mama loves me. Look at that. She lifts her tail up like that. She loving life. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, mama. You love that, mama, huh? Oh, yeah, mama. Oh, yeah. You know you're so beautiful, mamas. Oh, yeah, mama. You love that, huh? People think I'm crazy because the way I talk to them like that. But, you know, that's the way I am. I'm a very nice man. I'm a humble man. All right. We'll go. Now we'll go check out them. Like I said, them virgin heifers. So far, I got nothing to breed out here. Sorry, guys. Kind of slow. You know, but I'll show you in another video how I do and how I breed. You'll see if I have a virgin heifer in there so I can show you how I, I breed, you know, AI and breed them, you know. I'll show you all. Don't worry, y'all. I got plenty of time and got plenty of videos to make, y'all. And, uh, you know, I'm new at this, learning all the tricks and this, you know. I'm not very, very technology kind of person learning all this stuff you know when i was raised you know i didn't have cell phones you know we didn't have phones you know we had a landline you know but couldn't use it much because it used to charge per minute and it used to cost a lot of money to use it you know a phone a lot of money you know you guys are as old as me people are as old as me they, they understand that these new generation don't understand how to live life without a cell phone or a computer. I didn't have a computer when I grew up, you know. When I first got my first pager, I don't know if you all remember, but pagers, man, that was a big deal. Man, I wanted a pager, but parents couldn't afford a pager. So I got my first pager when I was about 19, about 18, 19 years old, got my first pager. You can only Imagine the smile I had on my face when I got my first pager. I was like, wow. Played it for a day or two. Then I got tired of it. Like, man, this, this is all. Everybody talked about pagers, how good they were. Man, I couldn't understand why so many people wanted pagers. Man, I couldn't stand it. It's like cell phones, you know. I'm not much of a person to talk on the phone. People that know me, they, they, they know that I hate talking on the phone. I rather talk in person. You talk in person, you get more done. That's all I gotta say about that. All right, y'all. These are called the virgin heifers. These are about 15 months old right here, y'all. These are 15 month old virgin heifers right here, see? See the chalk on them? See that one right there? She's in heat right there. That one there is in heat. See the difference? Got no chalk and he's got chalk, see that? She's in heat, okay? So I got one in there. So I got one hot one. See, that's one. See, you got it. See, they just all look at that. See, you can just tell, look at that. See, see what I'm telling about? The ones that are in heat, the ones aren't. You got chalk. So I can put a bit in here. Put a bit of hot, hot heifers in here. But I gotta be careful because yesterday, I didn't chalk them yesterday because, you know, they have some problems out they forgot they forget forgot to lock them up for me so when they forget to lock them up it's kind of hard to heat detect through here but you got to be a professional to understand when they're when they're when they're ovulated already you know they'll get a little blood discharge from their vagina and you got to pay attention so some of these were hot yesterday so on their tails so like that you know on the tails it shows little when you see a little blood on the tails do not breed them because it's pretty much your you're wasting the money of the farmer. You don't want to waste. You're not in this business to waste money. You're, you're in the business to make them money, not not to make them lose money. That's why I'm called a professional. And I, and one day I hope I am. I'm rewarded for all this, you know, for all this. Uh, 
stuff that I got in this big old dome right here, you know. I'm very cow smart. Every animal smart, I guess, you know. I'm pretty much like a veterinarian, but then I don't got that 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 uh, degree, you know. I should have went because I really wanted to be a veterinarian, you know. And you want to learn some stuff too, you know, I recommend you go watch Dr. Pohl. Dr. Pohl could, you know, teach you quite a bit of stuff. Being a veterinarian, you learned a lot of stuff from there. I just barely started watching Dr. Pohl. I love that man. I would love to meet Dr. Pohl. Man, he's a great man. Very, very great man. You know, I, I want to give a shout out to uh, to Foster, Foster Dairy Farms. They're the ones that taught me, you know, every, almost everything I know. Almost everything I know, them people taught me. You know, I respect that man, Mr. Ron Hale. He's a good man, very good man, but I'll never forget what he told me. You know, I'll give, give you guys a little story. When I went over there to the office to talk to Mr. Ron Hale, you know, that, guy, that man loved me. I was trained by this man. I know if Ron, Mr. Mr. Ron Hale, if you listen, you'll know who exactly what I'm talking about. Daryl, I forgot his last name, but his first name was Daryl. Very respected man in that company. You know, everybody used to, didn't like that man because they said that man was tough. Well, the reason why that man was tough because no one paid attention. When that man first saw me and saw me pay attention to him and did exactly what he said, I had no problems with that man. That man went to Ron Hale, Mr. Ron Hale, and recommended me. And man, I went in that office in there to Mr. Ron Hale after a couple, you know, about, a, about you know, I want to say about a year and a half working there, you know. I, I learned all this stuff quick. And I, I'm going to tell you, in three months, y'all, I learned how to breed cows. I learned how to preg check. I, I learned how to infuse cows. I learned how to give an IV. I learned how to tell from a sick cow and a, and a, and a cow that's, that's in perfect health, you know, how to pull calf the right way. They taught me the right way of doing things, y'all. I respect that man, Mr. Ron Hill, and I respect Mr. Daryl. Very good man. And old Craig Chittam. Craig Chittam was a very good man too. You know, we, we kind of kind of bumped heads a little bit, but man, that guy was a good man. And I and I love that man. And I respect that man too. You know, he don't work there no more, but man, that was a good man. Very good man. And Mr. Ron Hill, he he also don't work there anymore. He retired. His son took over, but his son ain't nothing like his dad. Uh, I forgot his name. Well, trying to think about his name, you know. I forgot his name. I'm sorry, man. I forgot your name, man. I didn't really, really work with you for, for a long time. You know, maybe, maybe for a couple months, and I, you know, then I, kind of left. Well, go back to my story about going in there to talk to Mr. Ron Hale. Is I, I went in there to ask for a raise, a dollar raise, okay. And I'll never forget what that man said. That man told me, and it stuck to me to this day. I mean, it's been probably 18 years. 18 years, y'all, and it always stuck to me, and I tell everybody this, you know, not, not to be mean, but for their good, because it's very, very, very true. That man told me, it don't matter how good you are, Frankie. Everybody's replaceable. It don't matter if it takes three to five people to replace you. Everybody's replaceable, and you always remembered that, Frankie, and I all. Uh, it always stuck in my head till this day it stuck in my head everybody's replaceable you know just look at the nfl you know hockey baseball everybody's replaceable you know remember that y'all remember that y'all i'm giving you all some good advice here y'all and i'm gonna cut this i'm gonna cut this video right now and then go back to my truck fall some some semen show you the process and explain how to do it but then i'll add it to this video y'all but i'm gonna cut it right now so i get this all done here really quick before i run a little bit more behind y'all because i the, the faster i get these cows unlocked the better it is because they need to go out and drink some water so they can produce more milk so the faster you do it the better it is on the cows but you don't want to go too fast you want to take your time okay y'all all right y'all thank you for listening and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, please. It would really help me. Thank you all. God bless you and God bless America. Ta-ta.